Yeah, I'm uh, David Bulger and I work with the sales and technical enablement team. I guess most of us are familiar with what, with what a server certificate is. And a server certificate typically resides you know, on like something like a web server. And a client that connects to it uses that server certificate to prove the identity of the server that has connecting to it. So a client certificate is then actually going to be on that client side, the calling side, whoever's initiating that conversation. And that basically then proves the identity of that user or that device that's using that client certificate to the actual server that has connecting to. And so in TLS, that's referred to as MTLS or mutual TLS for both parties are mutually authenticating each other or validating their identity using certificates. Examples are like I just mentioned on the web server where an actual user in a browser might actually use a client certificate. In that case, it will be referred to as a user certificate. Uh, but then also, you know, if you think about multi-tier uh, applications, like traditional applications where you have web servers that then talk to application servers, and application servers that talk to maybe back-end database servers, and each of those point-to-point -point connections, they might decide to use MTLS there as well. So the web server would use a client certificate to authenticate to the application server, as well as the application server using its server cert to prove its identity to the web server. And then in the next hop, uh, the application server talking to the database server will use its client certificate to authenticate to the actual um, database server. So that's where you would see client and server certificates used in your traditional MTLS connections. And you'll also see, like I mentioned, the client certificates on the user side, but, are, but on device sides. So like your laptop or your mobile device, when it's connecting to your VPN or connecting to your network switch, like 802.1x authentication. Um, and where we're seeing a real upsurge in the use of MTLS is actually in the cloud native applications, particularly like with Kubernetes um, and Istio service mesh. So the microservices that are as they're talking to each other are actually using MTLS uh, to prove their identity and have real secure connections there within the mesh. But then also um, from pod to pod, from cluster to cluster. Um, so we're seeing a lot of use of MTLS client certificates now in cloud native uh, application deployments. Yeah, and so if you don't actually manage uh, these certificates, obviously a lot of bad things can happen, you know, from just your basic outage. You know, so in your in your traditional multi-tier application, database, web server infrastructure, you know, if, if that certificate on the application server expires or is lost or is compromised, you know, you're going to lose that connection to the back end. That might bring down an entire banking application or it might bring down your hotel reservation system. Um, and then if you think about individual users, you know, if their user certificate expires or isn't given access to the system, they might be disconnected from their, their email or their web application. Um, and even like the IoT devices like that are used on airplanes, when the airplane lands, uh, typically will check in with some uh, software management system to get updated uh, operational software for the aircraft. If that device, uh, uh, IoT device on the aircraft um, can't connect, you could ground an airplane or a fleet of aircraft. So it's very important, obviously, to, to manage all those client certificates. Yeah, there's, there's lots of different tools out there depending on the actual uh, use case and the particular type of certificate that you're trying to manage. Um, we're probably all familiar with MDM, uh, the mobile device management platforms. So like Jamf, AirWatch, MobileIron, and Intune, they're typically used to manage you know, uh, Apple devices and laptops, desktops, um, cell phones, etc. cetera. Um, and so they will manage those type of client certificates. Um, you know, actually, and within um, Kubernetes, um, cert managers actually use to manage the certificates, and they can manage the client certificates there within the actual um, service mesh. Um, you know, we can give you that control plane and capabilities over all your certificates in your environment. So you can not just have visibility of what certificates are actually deployed um, within the environment, but then it'll give you the capability to enforce policy to ensure you're using certificates with the right validity period, with the right key length, with the right algorithm, etc. And then give you the capability to manage that lifecycle. Um, so you can actually control the issuance, the renewal and the revocation of certificates. If you want to find out more information, obviously, uh, you know, take a, a look through our website and look at it by product and by solution offering uh, for your market and, and your particular need. And then reach out to your account manager and your solution architect to really get into the detail of what we can do for you. Still have questions? Turn to Venify, the machine identity experts. Check out our channel or visit Venify.com to learn about all things encryption, certificate management, and more.